little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. Ah,、uh, future fish. Hannibal, a bear. Great to see you. Thank you very much. But、uh, future, yeah, voila. It is Mary had a little lab, not lamb. Oh, <laughs> I read lamb. Oh, you're so smart, Abuela Bear. <laughs> I know. <laughs> She gets me every time. <laughs> me too. She is smart, as is Mary. I mean, you have to be smart. If you have a lab, and apparently Mary is not like your average kid at all. Instead of doing normal kid things, she loves to be in her lab. Let's see what's going on in there. That's so intriguing, and maybe we'll want to make up our own lab if it looks really interesting. Mary had a little lab. She tested and created. While other kids were at the park, she built and calculated. Well, let's see. It's a beautiful day outside the window. The sun is shining, and and the kids are playing ball and bouncy things. And but no, not our little Mary. Her little tangled red head has got the beakers going, and things are bubbling. And 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 she's got the safety goggles on. Good job with that, Mary. Well, she is smart. We knew that from the start. Inventing can be lonely, though. She rarely stopped for fun. One day, she thought she'd call a friend, but. Couldn't think of one. Look at that! Everybody's outside playing. She's looking outside. She's feeling a little lonely, but there's no one to call. Huh? Maybe I just need a pet, one fluffy, soft, and sweet, to snuggle, cuddle, hold, and love, and make my life complete. Okay, so Mary has an idea. She needs a pet because look, there's a pet here, and it's snuggly and sweet and soft and cuddly and. That makes life complete. So she traveled to a local farm with scissors and a sack. What? She snipped a tiny tuft of wool. Snip. Then quickly headed back. Wait a minute. She went to a farm and she clipped some wool from this sheep. Bah! Did it hurt? Bah! Oh, good, good. And then she, then she put it in that little vial. Bah! Okay, all right. Just wanted to confirm I saw it right, sheep. Thank you. Bye bye. She made an apparatus with pulleys, knobs, and gears. <laughs> Then set the switches, pipes, and springs, and covered both her ears. It's gonna get noisy in here. My new machine is finished. My best invention ever. Then Mary turned the power on and gently pulled the lever. It doesn't look gentle. It looks kind of hard. Oh boy. That is a extraordinary-looking apparatus, and oh, she's got the attention of the neighborhood kids. That's for sure. They're probably thinking, "What is Mary doing in there?" She pushed the wool into the chute. Ah, the wool that she snip snipped, and poured the mixture in. Then pumped the pedals with her feet and gave it all a spin. What is this called? Oh, it's a sheepinator. Did she invent that? Because I have never heard of a sheepinator before, and all that noise is drawing all the kids to the window. Whoa! 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 Sputter, crackle, crinkle, burn! I have a pet to keep. The brilliant budding scientist had made a oh, that woolly sheep. Oh, so she couldn't go to the farm and. Get a pet like anybody normally would. She cloned the the sheep. That's what scientists do. The sheep assisted in the lab and often helped with chores. He carried all the groceries and buffed the kitchen floors. Well, that is a helpful sheep, boy. I'm thinking I need to order one of those. Look at that! All the sheep fur and wool holds all the. The groceries and sops up all the water on the floor and holds the wrench. Yes, Mary is onto something here. He followed her to school one day. The teacher was impressed. He said the sheep could stay in class as Mary's special guest. The kids all rushed to see the sheep and asked if they could play. Oh, Mary, could we have one too? Oh, Mom, I 
make you some today. Okay, so look at that. The sheep is like the sensation. I mean, if I brought a sheep to school, I think I'd be a sensation too. She led them to her little lab. Behold, the sheep and aider. I simply press this button here, the woolly duplicator. And look at this one right here. She is so happy about her little lamb. But soon the duplicator jammed. Oh, I hate when that happens. The sheep dropped out in twos. Oh, they're twins. They filled the lab, the yard, the street. They made the evening news. We have breaking news from Mary's lab where we seem to have a sheepish situation in our hands. Oh, no. Have we overpop? Oh, 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 oh. The town was overrun with sheep. She'd made ten times a flock. The wool went on for miles and miles around every city block. Sweaters for everyone! That's the good part, right? The bad part is there's not going to be enough grass to feed them all. Mary said, let's fix this jam. They pulled until it popped, then flipped the whole thing upside down until, at last, it stopped. Oh, gosh. That was pulling and kicking and, and, and tightening a thing over here. And, and oh, and, and she's flipping all the little knobs. And this one's cycling hard to stop the thing. And then there's the crack. And then they're fall they got hit by de flying debris. And he's, I mean, he's just been enveloped in wool, which maybe if he's allergic could be problematic. But everybody's exhausted. Even, even the sheep are exhausted at this point. <sighs> They used the lab to herd the sheep by adding wheels below. Now everywhere that Mary went, her lab was sure to go. Oh, and, and, and what about the sheep? Are they all going to go too? They led the sheep to pastures. Each farmer chose a few, but Mary had a new idea she wanted to pursue. Hey, Farmer Ted, hope you enjoy your new sheep. I wonder what the new idea is though. Oh, is, is she bidding adieu to her favorite sheep guy? I hope not. The town was back to normal. The people were at peace. Now Mary had a pet and friends. Oh good, the sheep is still there. And heaps of snowy fleece. Look at that, everybody's working together in there. Look at that, everybody's getting a sweater. White as snow fleece company. Aw, fleece company. Come and knock on my lab, come and knock on my lab, we will make you a sweater. The end. And that was, Mary had a little lab, little lab, little lab. Mary had a little lab. Abuela, come on! His fleece was white as snow. <laughs> oh, I love that story, storyteller. Did you? I did too. I like the sweater company as well. Yeah, it's too bad that I can't use sweaters under the sea. This is true. And since I have fed, I get a little too hot. But you can have one. <laughs> yeah, you can have one. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we all can have one. I think I'm going to go put an order in right now. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time Story Time.